expert horseman Carl Ude Martinez is preparing for the ultimate demonstration of the knight's agility, the joust. On a joust, you need to be able to really move quite well. You've got to be able to control your horse. Not only holding the reins in your left hand, you've also got a 12 foot lance in your right hand. A full suit of plate armor worn by soldiers in the 14th and 15th centuries weighed an average of around 60 pounds. New discoveries are revealing that the armor of the medieval knight is much more advanced. A knight's training manual written in the 14th century offers intriguing evidence that the fully armored knight was actually a highly mobile and agile assault weapon. The text is believed to have been written by an adventurous French knight named Wasikak. He tells us that as part of their rigorous training, Knights in full armor practice leaping onto the backs of their horses, climbing walls, and even performing backflips. Skills used in warfare were also used in jousting. Mounted knights, like Basita, who was known as a master of the joust, would charge at their enemies with weapons like the lance to kill or disable them in one powerful hit. Judgment time, I guess. I'm going to be galloping at 15, 20 miles an hour in a straight line in a 12 foot pole. And somebody else is going to be doing exactly the same. So we're going to collide at 30 to 40 miles an hour. The impact is going to be strong. Now it's time to put my trust in the armor of the Knights War in the medieval era. That we're never going to tip the tip. I can move at quite fast speeds in this armor. You know, you really forget about it. And uh, your main focus is on the target coming toward you. 